whoa, stop. Yes, stop right there, don't scroll any further. I'm Dr. Eric Potter. I'm a functional medicine doctor who earned his MD degree at Vanderbilt University. I did my residency at the University of Tennessee, Memphis. And I love genetic alphabet soup. Now, many of you may be wading into this 23andMe ancestry DNA genetic soup. You've got alphabet letters going everywhere, MTHFR, MAOA, CBS. What in the heck do you do with all that? Well, you know what? Yes, there are a lot of good resources. And if you've just got a few snips you're looking at, or just your health is not that complicated right now, you can do a lot of self-hacking. But many of you, especially when you're dealing with more complicated issues, are gonna find that that self-hacking only gets you so far. You're gonna run into challenges. Those are the challenges that I can help you with. You see, when you walk into some of those reports, you may look at one of these online reports where you've uploaded your data and they give you 50, maybe even 100 pages of do this and do that. It is, it is a recipe. If you open a recipe book up, it has a lot of ideas about different recipes. However, in your health, you have one recipe and you want it to taste good. So that's where I can come in. Rather than you trying to sort through which one is the right ingredient to put in your health, your lifestyle, your nutri nutrition, what to put on your plate, you need someone to give you a little guidance. When you look at these reports, you may turn to page one of the recipe and it says, oh, for your MAOA, homozygous SNP or heterozygous SNP, add a little of this supplement. Then you turn to the second paragraph and you're looking, oh, MTHFR, I shouldn't take folic acid. It's bad for a person with MTHFR. Very true. Now, so far, so good. You look to the next page. What happens? Oops, that supplement you were supposed to take for MAOA, ooh, is now a no-no. Don't add it. Oh, did you already add it in your genet into your uh, health soup? Well, what do you do now? You have to take it back out. Then you go to the next page. Oh, you should take more of this. Oh, you shouldn't. Pretty soon, you get pretty confused. What do you do at that point? Well, you can throw up your hands and think all this genetic alphabet soup is just a load of hooey, or you can get help. Now, don't feel ashamed to ask for help. Don't be like the typical guy, won't ask for directions. Says, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep going down the road. I'll get there eventually. Well, we all know that doesn't work out so well. Trust me, I know that. I won't tell you the story, but trust me. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You need to get some help. Whether it's with taxes, whether it's with a mechanic, we all need help at times. Don't be ashamed. What I wanna do is be there for you in those times when you're saying, all right, do I add this supplement? Do I not add this supplement? Well. Give me a chance at what we call kind of a DNA mini consult, a DNA analysis. You bring your genetic information in, you talk with myself or my physician assistant that works with me. We will review your health, review your genetic data, and we'll sit down with you, myself personally, and give you a overview. These are the things that I see in your genetic information. These are the things I see in your health where you should make this adjustment. Yes, this supplement would be good, but even though it says you shouldn't over here, eh, for you it's not that big a deal. Basically, I'm gonna give you more guidance on your recipe. It's really that simple. Now, I love this stuff. I love cooking up with genetic soup. I love each day that patients come in bringing little different recipes, little different genetic variations in that, and I get to help. It's just one day after another, a job I enjoy. Now, if you'd like that kind of help, if you've gotten frustrated trying to cook up your own genetic soup, you can click below. You see, genetic soup is our specialty. Whoa, one more thing, don't go anywhere. We always, at Sanctuary Functional Medicine, wanna give added value. We want you to walk away feeling like you got more than you bargained for. You got more than you paid for. So, because I know that some of you are gonna be like, what is he talking about? What is this all this DNA business, this SNP business? What is a SNP? Is that a haircut? No, we don't do haircuts at Sanctuary Functional. What we do is help you determine how to take care of your health based on your genetic testing. 
and also advanced functional testing. Now, to understand what we're talking about, you need to understand what DNA is, what genetics are, a little bit about what a SNP is. Our genetic information that determines how we are made, how we are grown, how we develop, how we function, depends on four letters, A, T, G, and C. With those letters, our DNA makes up three letter words. From those words determines how our proteins are made, how our body functions, and how we live our life, whether it's health or in ill health. What we wanna do is guide you in that because based on which one of those letters are in that, your health changes and that's where SNPs come in. A SNP, nope, not a haircut, single nucleotide polymorphism. Nucleotide are those different letters, A, T, G, or C. Single polymorphism means there's one letter change. So instead of saying A, T, C, you've got an A, T, G, or an A, G, T. Either way, it's a letter change. You're like, well, so what? Well, if you're reading a story and there's a letter change from, say, um, dog to dig, yeah, that makes a difference. Dogs do dig, but it's a different story. Now, back to genetics. What we're doing is helping you figure out, do those little letter changes make any difference in your health? You see, sometimes they do. If it slows up, slows down an enzyme, speeds up an enzyme, it's gonna change how your energy cycle functions, how you convert one vitamin to another, how your body functions to make cholesterol, how it functions to keep your liver healthy, to detoxify, all kinds of things you need to know how that is affecting you. Now, the last thing, we all have SNPs, thousands of them. Even though our proteins need a certain order, they can undergo a little bit of variation. They can change from one amino acid here to another one there. Sometimes it makes no difference, sometimes it makes some difference. It's not necessarily a cystic fibrosis or a sickle cell where it turns off or on a disease process, it can be like the dimmer switch. That enzyme, instead of being at 100% speed, is turned down to 60 or turned up to 125 or whatever number you want to choose. It may or may not make a difference. If you don't need 100% of that enzyme because you're not exposed to toxins, it won't make any difference for you. But if you're exposed to toxins, that enzyme weakness, that slowdown, may make a big difference. It may make you sick. So what we want to do is guide you in that. We can help you determine which diet might be better. Low protein, high fat, low carb, high carb. We can help you determine how much of a particular supplement that you may need to take. MTHFR may need to take more um, methylfolate. Or if you have the 1298 version, you may want to look at taking more folinic acid. Uh, some SNPs determine how much nitrogen you can handle, which basically comes from protein. So. All that together is genetics and SNPs are just another tool in the healthcare toolbox. They don't determine your destiny. They're just a tendency. They lean you a little this way or a little that way. What we want to do at Sanctuary Functional Medicine is help you put those to use to guide your health so you can better uh, take care of yourself. Again, if you want to learn more, to learn more, about how we can guide you in your healthcare recipe for your genetic alphabet soup, click below. I look forward to seeing you at Sanctuary Functional.